Yeah, what's up guys? Welcome back. We're here at Gold Shim once again, and today's video is gonna be focused around the back. I'm gonna superset three exercises back to back, a little bit different than the, uh, the normal kind of routine I'm doing. So this particular workout is gonna be great for beginners and those of you just wanting to switch up your back routine. Typically, this is gonna be three sets, 10, 12 repetitions per exercise, and supersets of one exercise immediately followed by the next. This entire workout should take less than 30 minutes. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. So the first of our three back combos starts with the seated row. And you'll see that I'm using a rope. The main reason for this, as opposed to using a fixed bar or uh, handles, is that as I squeeze my back together, I'm actually pulling out as well. So I've got different forces acting against the back. It also requires me to really think about the movement as opposed to just autonomously pulling that bar back and forth. Immediately after that, I'm up on the, uh, the pull-up bars, nice and wide. These are forceful chin-ups. So, I'm using a lot of force to pull myself up, keeping it nice and smooth, making sure that I am getting my chin at least above the line where my hands are so I can fully contract the back and then a full length at the bottom. Two of these back to back with about 30 seconds rest in between. And then you'll notice the third set that I did on the seated row, I switched it up for a single handle. This way it allows me a, a fuller range of motion. So as I'm pulling in towards my hip, I'm actually rotating at the torso fully contracting my back, and then that full stretch. 12, even 15 repetitions on each arm, and then once again, switching up the hand position on those pull-ups from a wide overhand to more of a close neutral grip, just so that I'm really working the back from a variety of different angles, even on these first two exercises. So this can also apply uh, for pretty much any workout when you're doing multiple sets. If you're able to, try and switch up each set so that you're performing it slightly differently. That can be increasing the weight or changing up the handle, the attachment, or really just how you perform that exercise. Back's already feeling warm, so let's move on, have a look at superset number two. What I'm doing is using a, an incline bench, pronated chest down first, using dumbbells. This takes away any of the uh, movement in my torso. If I were doing a single one-arm dumbbell rows or even bent over barbell rows. And one thing I've noticed, especially with, uh, you know, those of you who are just starting out in uh, weight training, is getting the form and the proper technique down can often be tricky, especially with a bent over barbell row. So by supporting your, yourself on the bench, makes that exercise that much easier. And also if you need a longer uh, stretch in the arm, because uh, you can't take the bench up too high, or you've got long arms, then uh, find a pad or even roll up a towel or a mat to place between you and the bench so that you can increase that uh, distance between the dumbbell and the floor. You get a nice full stretch, stretch out those lats. And then as you pull your shoulders back, we're squeezing the inner part of the back together. Great exercise for that. And you'll see on the third set, I also use a cable. Lighter weight on this one, but that full range of motion and that contraction in the middle part of the back, it's hard to beat. Supersetting that exercise with some hyperextensions, holding onto either a dumbbell or barbell close to my chest or a barbell across my back. And for that third set, if you find this uncomfortable or perhaps you don't have this uh, particular piece of setup in the gym, simply place a barbell over your back as though you're gonna do a squat, and then it's a, it's a good morning. So we're keeping the knees soft, you're flexing forwards at the waist as you push your hips back, and you should feel a nice stretch and the muscle contracting in that sort of uh, erector spine, this area here. So deadlifts as well, good mornings, hyperextensions, these are all key components of a good back workout so that we're not just focusing on the lats in the upper portion of the back. So make sure you incorporate that into your next back workout. Okay, where are we at? Exercise number three. Okay, I've got something different for you. Follow me. You know, 
when we think of back, uh, we typically think of uh, just a handful of different movements. A row, a pull down, a lift. But in actual fact, the back is one of the most complex musculatures on the body. There's a lot of different interweaving, uh, angled muscles, all of which work uh, differently based on the movement. What I'm getting at is that these two last uh, superset exercises that I'm doing, an easy or straight bar pullover, which is a great exercise for the lats. I also substitute that one for a dumbbell. Typically, I'd do this for a chest workout, although it does work the serratus anterior and the lats as well. So whichever really is more comfortable for you. And with that one, arms are kept at that sort of locked angle. They're not perfectly straight. I'm not moving them, or at least trying to move them, as I lower that bar behind, which is where you get the stretch. And then it's the lats that are then pulling the arm with that weight back over the chest. It's a really great exercise. Start off light, get used to the movement, then build up to a good weight that will help stretch and really work that muscle for those 10 or 12 reps. Then what I'm supersetting that with, either with a, a dual cable system or a single cable system like this one, a straight arm pull down. Similar muscle groups works. Good one for the rear delts as well and shoulders. But on this one, you do keep the arms straight. You wanna pull that bar or the handles down towards the thigh. Pause to be able to feel that contraction. And then without arching your back, open out and stretch out that back. 10, 12 reps here. 10, 12 reps on the first one. Three sets in total. And that concludes the end of my, uh, I guess, three part superset back exercise. Like I mentioned, a little bit different than my usual back workout, but man, am I feeling it. So uh, a good example of this would be either to alternate with my usual uh, free weight workout, which you can see on my YouTube, uh, every other workout, or once a month, once every couple of weeks, add in this workout just to allow my main uh, back muscles time to rest and recover. And on that note, that is the end of today's training video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, or uh, videos or muscle groups that you want explaining on future videos, let us know. Uh, again, thank you to Josh Morgan, the man behind the camera. Uh, if you're like a budding videographer, you're doing vlogging, you wanna find out really how we make these videos, go onto his channel. I'll include a little link up here and you'll see a lot of the behind the scenes as well. How we film it, how we set up each exercise and how Josh is always following me around showing the exercises. So uh, that's it pretty much for the end of this year. We've got 2018 coming. And stay tuned for a special video with the one and only Mr. Mike O'Hearn coming real soon. So uh, look forward to that one. All right, thanks again. I'll see you in the new year. Take care and good luck.